Hello viewers, this is Wagadaru now taking you through today's tutorial on three-dimensional vectors. And today's lesson we shall talk about location of lines in space. So a straight line is located uniquely in space if either it passes through a known fixed point and has a known direction or it passes through two known fixed points. And in each of these cases, we can find the equation which describes the set of points on the line. Now, let's suppose our line passes through two points, A, which is x1, y1, and z1, and B, which is x2, y2, z2, as shown in this diagram. So, in this diagram, this is the line in space. Because it is in space, it will be located on a three-dimensional axis. So, x, y, z. This is the line AB passes through this point A and through this point B. Now, this point R is any point along the line, any variable point along the line. Now, this denotes the position vector of point S. In other words, A tilde is OA. B tilde denotes the position vector of point B, which is OB. And this denotes the position vector of any variable point on the line AB. And it's given by x y z so in this case you realize that these points a b and c are collinear points in other words they lie on one straight line what does that mean it means that point line a r is a scalar multiple of line a b and in that case a r will be equal to scalar multiplied by a b now a r is the same as o r minus o a while a b is that when you make OR the subject you shall come up with OA plus lambda AB now in this case AB is the direction I think you can see here this AB will be the direction of that line it will be the direction of that line and it will be denoted by D tilde so when you substitute for AB we shall, sub we shall put here D to mean the direction vector lambda is still there OA will be substituted with A tilde to mean position vector of A and R tilde will not position vector of any point on the line given. So in this case this will denote the equation of the line expressed in vector form. In short it is called the vector equation of a line. It's denoted by this equal to position vector of any point on the line and the direction vector of that line so that brings us now from vector equation of a line we can get the parametric equations of the same line in space for example D was given as a B and a B is the same as OB minus OA now we know that OB is the position vector of point B which is X2 Y2 Z2 and OA is the position vector of point A, which is x1, y1, z1. So when you subtract the two, you shall come up with this x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, and z2 minus z1. Now, if we let dx to denote the i component of this direction vector, which is x2 minus x1, and dy to denote the j component of this direction vector, which is y2 minus y1 and dz to denote the j k component of the direction vector which is z2 minus z1 it implies that our direction vector will now become dx dy dz now from there we know that the vector equation of a line is given in this form therefore we are now going to substitute for d which is that here and o a tilde is the position vector of point a which is x1 y1 z1 and R is any point on the line, so it's noted by X, Y, Z. Now from there we shall realize that X will be for the J I component, X will be equal to X1 plus lambda DX, which is that. Y will be equal to Y1 plus lambda DY, which is that. And Z will be equal to Z1 plus lambda DZ, which is that so all these three equations are what we call the parametric equation of a line in space
Now from the parametric equations, you can also get the Cartesian equation of a line in space. For example, we are given the parametric equations where this x equal to x1 plus lambda dx. When I make lambda the subject, I will come up with x minus x1 over dx. Call that equation 1. For Then for y, it was y equal to y1 plus lambda dy. When I make lambda the subject, it will be y minus y1 over dy. Then last row on z, it was z1 plus lambda dz. So lambda will become z minus z1 over dz. So what does that mean? It means that I think I can see that all these equations are equal to lambda. Therefore, they can all be equated. When they are equated, you come up with this x minus x1 over dx equal to y minus 1 y1 over dy equal to z minus z1 over dz. Now, this equation is what we call the Cartesian equation of a line in space. Now, we shall use that knowledge to come up with a solution to this problem. It says a certain line passes through points A, which is 2, negative 1, negative 3, and B, which is negative 1, 6, negative 9. Find, Roman 1, the vector equation of the line, Roman 2, parametric equations of the line, and Roman 3, Cartesian equation of the line. So in this case, this is our line AB. It passes through these points A and B, A which is 2, negative 1, negative 3, and B which is negative 1, 6, negative 9. So we shall choose R to be the variable point along that line which is x, y, z. And this will be the direction vector of that line AB and to be equal to OB minus OA. So we shall now start with vector equation. Vector equation, you have to first get the position vector which is of any point on the line. So let's say, let's choose point A, which is 2, negative 1, negative 3. Then next, you have to get the direction vector of that line. And in our case, the direction vector is AB. AB, which is equal to OB minus OA. AB, OB is that, and OA is that. So when you subtract the 2, negative 1 minus 2, we get negative 3. 6 minus negative 1, you get 7. And negative 9 minus negative 3, you get negative 6. So this, therefore, the required equation of the line in vector form will be given by the formula r equal to a tilde plus lambda d tilde. So substitute for a, which is a tilde, which is that, and d tilde, which is that. Now this will be the vector equation of the line. Roman 2, we shall go to now the parametric equations. So we have to substitute for r, which is x, y, z, to get that. Now when you get that, we shall, com we shall equate the 2. For the i component, we shall decide it to be x, decide it to be 2 minus 3 lambda, which is x equal to 2 minus 3 lambda. For the j component, decide it is y, decide it is negative 1 plus 7 lambda. Which therefore y is equal to negative 1 plus 7 lambda. For the k component, decide it is z, decide it is negative 3 minus 6 lambda. So you come up with z equal to negative 3 minus 6 lambda. Now these three equations are what we call the parametric equations of the given line. Then Roman 3, they wanted also the Cartesian equation. Remember, the Cartesian equation is got from the parametric equation. So from this expression, when I make lambda the subject, I'll come up with x minus 2 over negative 3. For this one, when I make lambda the subject, I'll come up with y plus 1 over 7. And for this one, when I make lambda the subject, I'll come up with z plus 3 over negative 6. So I'll equate all these three to come up with this. And this is what we call now the Cartesian equation of a line. So that brings us to the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel, ROA e-learning platform. Thank you.